Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. We're here today in Zacapo, and we're about to enter the Trucha del Salado trout farm, and they have a really nice restaurant here. We're gonna give you a little view and tour of this place. What do you say we get started? Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is my friend Henry. ¿Qué tal, Henry? Mucho gusto. We are today in a trout farm. Henry, ¿qué tal? Este, ¿tú, nas, ¿Tú de dónde eres? Eh, nosotros somos de aquí, de San Pedro de Vicabamba, barrio Zacapo. So Henry is born here in uh, Zacapo, which is part, it's actually a barrio, the neighborhood of uh, San Pedro, San Pedro de Vicabamba. Henry, cuéntenos, este, ¿qué, ¿de qué se trata tu fin, tu, este, cómo es este, ¿cómo es el lugar? emprendimiento? Emprendimiento, estrucha del salado. Cuéntenos, ¿cómo es la historia de la estrucha del salado? Eh, nosotros nacimos desde 2008 con un proyecto eh, de salir con trucha al mercado local. So in 2008, they started to sell, because they had this property, they started to sell charge to the market, to the local market, uh, Loja and Vilcamba? Sí. In Loja and in Vilcamba, and probably locally too, and here in San Pedro. ¿Y de ahí? Eh, luego, había turistas que venían hacia arriba, hacia una cascada. But you have some uh, walking roads in this area, in Zacapo area, it's very famous for its uh, um, waterfalls, for example, and these long walks through the mountains. And so tourists were passing by. Eh, cambiamos la idea de salir al mercado por vender en plato y aprovechar los turistas que venían. So then they had this great idea. Instead of um, selling the church to Loja, send them to Loja, send them to Vilcamba. They just kept them here and convert it to a really cool, good uh, ditch. And so that's how the restaurant idea came up. Fue muy duro el, el, el trabajo hasta poder captar las turistas. Venían uno o dos personas, eh, luego cinco, y empezamos a vender. Nos quedábamos con la comida eh, preparada y no vendíamos a veces. So the first month, it was, they had a really hard time in selling because nobody knew them. They were just brand new, so they had a very difficult start. Luego, eh, fue viniendo de a poco, de a poco, eh, la, los mismos turistas contaban a otras personas y ellos venían como más turistas y así fue creciendo. So slowly but sure, the first tourists, the first, the first customers that came, they had a great time here, the food was great. So they all, month by month, uh, publicity, and they told other people, you have to come here, you have to come here. That's how the business started to grow and grow and grow slowly, but sure, but it was growing and growing. Eh, han pasado 15 años del trabajo, ha cambiado mucho el, el aspecto, no era así, era árboles y se ha trabajado mucho, se ha invertido mucho en tener esto bonito y las piscinas con estos. So after about 15 years, this place is quite big now. They invested a lot in the buildings and in the pounds and in, in, in the pools, which you will see uh, later on. But yes, it took them a long time to actually come up with uh, this place. This place is no pretty famous in Loja. So a lot of people come here, mostly over the weekends, but they come, everybody knows the place now. Al ser un emprendimiento familiar, eh, todos trabajamos. Somos hermanos, eh, la familia eh, Jara Lapo. Todos somos los que trabajamos aquí, eh, desde el más pequeño hasta el más el grande. So he's telling me, uh, they started the business, it's actually a family business. So uh, the last names are Jara and Lapo, that's their last names. 
and together they made the front to get this um, this business up up to top where it's now after 15 years eh, el acceso a las vías antes no teníamos fue muy duro trabajar hasta a poder llegar con el parqueadero y brindar un mejor servicio porque hay muchas personas que no tienen la capacidad de caminar y se les hacía difícil desde abajo caminar hasta acá ahora estamos cerca mm -hmm. So at the start of this project, back in 2008, you couldn't come here with your car. You had to walk in. It was a long walk. So they invest a lot of time and money in for, for their customers to get you all the way here in your car. They made a very cool parking spot. So, yes. Ahora atendemos, antes atendíamos solo sábados y domingos y en feriado. Ahora hacemos la atención de lunes a domingo. So another thing that changed from the start to now is that they, um, before they only were attending, they were open only on weekends, and now they're open every single day from Monday to Sunday. Eh, hemos crecido muchísimo como emprendimiento. Somos el primer emprendimiento turístico en la parroquia San Pedro de Cabama. In the parish, what we call the parish of San Pedro de Vilcamba, they are the biggest business in here, the biggest one, the number one now. Vamos por los 14 años y los días de mayor concentración de turistas es sábado y domingo y feriados. Yeah, he's telling me, of course, they are full on on the weekends and the holidays. Eh, vendemos la trucha en varias presentaciones, frita, a la plancha, en vapor y en filete. So he's, he's explaining me that uh, the trucha that they have, the trout, they, they make it in different ways, like baked, steamed, and uh, ¿cuál más? Trucha, filete, filete, a la plancha, vapor. Y frita, ¿no? A la plancha, I'm not sure what this in English, a la plancha, but you have an idea. And uh, fried, of course. ¿Qué más? Um, una de las beneficios o, o lo que la gente le, le gusta, la atracción, es que ellos mismos la pescan, sacan y esa se la prepara. Es de la, de la poza, del agua a la olla. So one of their attractions here is that you actually can bring your own fish line or hire here a fish line get the trout and they will bake it for you. Eh, para la preparación de la, de la trucha utilizamos condimentos o aliños de las hierbas naturales sembradas en el jardín de, de mi mamá, de nuestra mamá. So, all the spices that they use to get this, uh, this trout um, baked or cooked or um, steamed or whatever, they use all these spices. They have it, but they have it uh, in their own garden. He's telling me that he has his mom, and uh, they go there and ch 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 take it from there and use it. It's all natural, by the way. Uno de los beneficios o por la trucha es un sabor único porque el agua no hay contaminación hacia arriba. Es uno de los ríos más limpios de Loja. <laughs> So the river behind me, where to take the water for the pans, for the pools, is probably one, if it's not the cleanest one, but one of the cleanest water, the cleanest river in all the Loja area, okay? So he's explaining me that's why the trucha is different, the trout is different from the other restaurants that you can go anywhere in Ecuador or anywhere in Loja. But that's, this is one of the secrets is the water. It gives an, a different flavor and it's pretty natural. Eh, el tiempo de crianza de la trucha eh, viene de dos días de nacido. Estamos sacando la producción en cuatro meses. Es, es rápido eh, y se beneficia de los minerales que tiene el agua. Cuatro meses. Cuatro meses. En cuatro meses la sacan en y cuatro la... meses ya sale para lo que es la, la comida. 
so they have their their fish, their uh, trout depends how big it is. They use different pounds, different pools, but about in four months, it's big enough to be fished and to be eaten. Uno de los beneficios también de aquí del, del emprendimiento que es familiar eh, es que se tiene contacto con la naturaleza. Eh, muy, a, la, a la clientela les gusta el, el sonido del río, venir a bañarse, es un apertura total. So another great thing about this place is that we are actually middle middle of the nature. People love the nature. People love to come have a swim in the river, to chill out, to hear the the sound that you hear of the river. So yes, we are middle of the nature. Eh, tenemos eh, otras aspiraciones, hacer unas cabañas cerca del río para que la gente pueda disfrutar mejor. Eh, muchos no quieren comer acá, quieren comer acá. Entonces, cabañas de hospedaje o no, cabañas de cabañas restaurante? solo para comer. Ahí. Porque tenemos dos cabañitas de hospedaje, dos. Uh -huh. Tenemos acá. So Henry is telling me that he they want to uh, expand their business and they want to build a little bit more of a bungalow style um, buildings right on the river so you can enjoy more of your dishes. Henry, cuéntame el horario de... Bueno, atendemos eh, de lunes a domingo desde las 10.30 hasta las 18 horas 30. All right, so there are hours, they are open from Monday to Sunday again, from 10.30 to 6.30, all right? So people, if you are coming to Vilcamba, don't forget to visit this very, very nice, very um, cool place, please. And um, we will leave the map so you can find your way here uh, easily. You can come in your car, no problem. Okay. Muchas gracias, Henry. No problema. Genial.